and welcome back my cosmic kerbals in today's episode we're going to orbit in fact this first rocket here I believe we were calling the mighty scrimp I don't really remember what it was oh no it's the curb nink this is the curb nink satellite first separation is good it was day 355 when the curb nink satellite launched off from the KSC as it reaches the upper atmosphere it gets a radiation scan for 3.6 science credits flying high above Kerbin deployment of the fairing was not exactly nominal but it worked out fine the little Kerbal music says that we have reached space on this operation of that little booster, <coughs> the Kerbnik is getting ready. It spins up for spin stabilization, blasts its last little solid rocket booster to hope it can get in orbit. And the booster runs out, and it has achieved an orbit of 199,000 meters by. 103,000 meters. And the light experiment gets done. Data acquired of two science credits. <coughs> and then it shows its camera view of Kerbin from way out into space. It also ends up getting four credits for a radiation scan of the magnetosphere and hits the inner belt for another for more science and then there we seen day 372 the hair the hair was upgraded and then a few days later on day 383 the pad got upgraded here we are in the albatross for flight 120 is clear to leave for the desert airfield Vale will be piloting the Albatross this time. I do believe we have five, five Kerbals heading to the desert. Not quite sure. I don't know what Vale was trying to tell us there, but that big error on the ground there, we're not quite sure what that was. I may have mistakenly put that there, or that might be something we need to go find. Yes, that little arrow there. What is that? Why is it there? Was it part of the Kerbin side? <coughs> I do not know. But we'll fly over the mountains here, getting great views of the mountains. In fact, Val just told the other Kerbals, look out and you'll see great views of the mountains. As we fly over K2, the highest peak on Kerbin, as we lead off and fade more towards the ocean. And there it says, we have gotten a, a finished the temperature scan flying low over the highlands for 2.1 credits. Fade to above some nice little clouds from black rocks volumetric cloud mod and we are back to the Kerbal air program you thought this was Kerbal space program did you we have made it across we are now descending down to fly over the desert To get down underneath the cloud layer of our reports the clouds are very thick we need to get down below them as we can't really see and that you find a nice altitude just just below the cloud layer there we 
look back the mountains all around. The desert mountains. There's a course of something mysterious being out in the desert. We have yet to see it. So therefore, we can only say it's, it's a report of something being out in the desert. But there is the desert runway. That is not really nothing to report. Other than there is more stuff at the desert runway, if you did not know. Because in this playthrough, there has been added a desert launch site. Which van will take us a nice little cruise about. Come around. Uh, this is the new improved desert launch site. There's a train. You can see the train there. It's going to go through that little tunnel. Little payload factory, little launch site. Look at that trench. Look at that diverter trench. Holy cow, somebody really spent some time making that. I am not that good with triple constructs. I'm glad I put that in there though. Okay, here we come in for our landing. Whoa, by elbow. But she puts it down nicely. And we'll let our uh, crew do their little exchange thing. She's going to pop out and get an EVA report. And a desert temp or a service sample. Okay, we're uh, cleared to leave. The chairman departure. Heading 818. Squawking here, Jeff. She jumps out, grabs her stuff. This mod here. Free IVA. Look how neat this is. You can, you can walk around and then you understand how this all works. You're like, uh, you see, open hatch. This is where it gets really great. Open the next hatch. And now we're in with the other Kerbals. Peter. Jusuki. And you can just like walk around through all the little cabins. In flight, you can switch to these guys. I'm, I do have atmosphere autopilot. So you can put on autopilot and then switch to like your, your passengers and kind of cruise around. Did you Limon's really have you back there or just jumping around? Come on, I do believe this one's up to you, right? Yeah, hey, there's no one back here. Let's check it out. And plane landing for dummies. Might need that. That hatch is blocked. Because that's the back of the plane. Let me just gonna leave all the doors open. Right? Those should be open anyway, right? They don't need their own little private spots. Except for the pilot's quarters need to be closed. So we'll shut our door. Yeah. Free IVA. And we shall depart now. So we picked up 1.2 credits for a radiation scan of the desert surface. 0.9 credits for a crew report of the desert surface. 2.1 credits for a temperature scan flying low over the desert. The EVA report from the desert surface. So now all, other than getting paid quite nicely from the Kerbal Air for bringing these to there, we got some nice science from it as well. And now we are leaving the desert to head back across the little ocean way that was ocean, a bay, a sea. But we're just gonna call it the ocean. Now that we get across, we have to gain our altitude, so we make sure we don't fly in the K2 coming back across. There was our three credits transmitted from the desert service sample. Enjoying the views. Kerbals always love the view. As she reports, we're just coming over top of the K2 mountain range again, and we'll be coming in for landing. And they replied, well, when you get here and we pick you up on our radar, we'll give you clearance to land. Thank you for flying Kerbal Air. Is 
so the peaks get ready for the sun. And they said, okay, we'll guide you in. She is the most experienced pilot of this crew, by the way. And there you see the KSC off in the distance coming in for landing. It has gotten dark. It was quite the long flight. And she puts it down to a screeching halt. A little fish tailing. And now we must uh, taxi to the terminal. Oh, we had five passengers on flight 120. We sit here, land another, da da da, the land. Go to the KSC runway or the KSC air terminal. There's also a new air terminal here. Something else we have just picked up. And then turn between uh, videos. The Trans Kerbal Airline. Which soon you'll be seeing a, a new plane. The KA 137. Which will do both the KSC Airlines and the Trans Kerbal Airlines. There is a sign for the TKA. Brings it to a stop. Unloads our heavy passengers. And I'll jump in the new KX1 on day 391. He will achieve Mach 3 and then fly to 60,000 meters. After just being dropped out of the bomb bay. Oh, well, it was bad enough like a B-52. Well, he begins his climb. To 60,000 meters. Save you see the little corner. ASL is 63,000, 64,000, 65,000, 66,000. Actually, it's a 66 point whatever kilometers. 67 kilometers, 67.7, and now he's gonna start falling. 66.07 kilometers. Job goes up to you in the KX1. You just gonna really enjoy being right on the very edge of space. The reports on the view was just absolutely amazing. So close to making it to outer space, but not quite. Soon, soon we will have a jet cable of putting the Kerbal into space. They may not be orbiting, but we can suborbit. We can just hit that, that Kerman line. Maybe I'll uh, take some tourists up to the Kerman line. And experiencing some immense G's, some crazy turbulence. Trying to find the KSC. No idea quite where he is. You know, he's, he's by the KD mountain range. I said, like, well, we're just gonna have to put it down here the best we can. We're not gonna make it back.
slide and jump the best you can. Land there in one piece. So we can use again to try to admit a Mach 4 in a future episode. Oh, and we bounce. He hit pretty hard there, got a little bouncy bounce. And then it uh, calms down and he comes to a stop. And we got a boatload of science and stuff there from that. And Jeb goes up a level. And here we have the vehicle assembly building being upgraded. Day 394. And a few days later, there you see, at day 407, the tracking station. And now, we will try to make a polar orbit. This thing's kind of wobbling here on the pad. The first launch off the new pad. We're going to go polar with the uh, low altimeter scan sat satellite. Boost you though. Oh no, there was an issue. One of the boosters collided and we have now lost our motor. This satellite will not be going to orbit today. And the fairing's out right and puts it into a funny spin. We detach and try to hope for our best. But this little satellite just does not have any. No orbit, no space just across the bay and crashing into the grass. A sad attempt for the Kerbals this time. And now we'll just watch it fall back down. Hope you liked the video. Give that thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one after this uh, crash is burned here. Oh, but it still kind of survived in more explosions. But pirates survived. They'll get some data from it. They'll get some better attack. And next time, we'll have a probe frenzy.